Hello, everyone. Welcome back to St. Louis Teens, and welcome back to our series on Champions for Teens, featuring lawmakers and leaders working with teens in their community. We are here today with Mayor Glantz of the city of Creve Coeur, Missouri. Mayor Glantz, we appreciate your efforts in helping us navigate these difficult times, working with small businesses during the pandemic, and for strengthening our greenery. Thank you so much for your service, and thank you for being here with us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Mayor Glantz, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and what inspired you to go into public service and how has your journey been like so far? Um, well, thanks again for, for having me on with you today. I'm, I'm sitting outside, so if there's some background noise, it's just, it's too, it's too nice of a day to, uh, to, to be inside and um, got a little bit of a zoo going on in, inside there. So uh, I apologize for that. Um, so my name is Barry Glantz. I'm the mayor of Pre-4. I've been the mayor for, this is my ninth and final year uh, of being mayor of Creve Four. I started my uh, public service in the community in 1992 um, when, I ran, when I first ran for the city council um, in the district ward that I, that I, that I lived in. Um, so I served on the city council for eight years. Um, then I was on the planning and zoning commission and um, when I was term limited from the Planning and Zoning Commission, it was a very good time in my, in my personal life. I know that sounds trite, um, but it was a good time in my personal life to, uh, to run for mayor. The mayor was, was, was term limited. Um, um, then, so in 2012, I did run for, uh, successfully run for mayor and have served, um, served ever since. And Mayor Glantz, I know it can be difficult, but can you share with us the most favorite part of your job? Um, there, are, there are a lot of good parts. Um, quite honestly, one, one of the best parts is, is that every day is, is different. Um, the role of mayor is not a full-time job. We have a, a, a city administrator um, the, the form of government that we have in, in the municipalities, pretty much by and large throughout St. Louis, is uh, mayor, council, and city administrator, which means the mayor and the city council set policy, and the city administrator's job is to uh, carry that out. And that's a full-time job. Uh, my job as mayor is, is really a part-time job. Um, but the, 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 my, my favorite part is that every day is different. Um, and, uh, whether I'm dealing with, with city employees, we have a, a hundred and three, 104 city employees, whether, uh, I'm going to the, the police, uh, quarterly recognition awards, whether we're running a city council meeting, uh, a ribbon cutting out in the, in the community or meeting with business leaders or, or meeting with residents. Every day is different. Um, and, it, and it's, and, and it's, it's fun. It's in. Uh, it's it's invigorating, and um, it's fun to be a part of. And COVID-19 now has posed unprecedented challenges to our society and to our leaders. And in order for a city to manage the pandemic effectively, not only does the city government need to manage its own city, but it also needs to work well in conjunction with other levels of government. And Mayor Glantz, you have done a great job in governing Creve Coeur through the COVID-19 pandemic in a very efficient manner. How has COVID-19 changed governance for you and what are the keys to your success during these times? The, uh, the single biggest part of the COVID-19 pandemic has been not being able to meet personally, whether it's, it's a, you know, a meeting with constituents a ward meeting, a ward town hall meeting, even our city council meetings. Um, everything is, is uh, in-person meetings have, have been replaced with virtual meetings like we're, we're doing right now. And while those can be effective um, and a good tool, um, the, the dynamics and, and the synergy that's created with in-person meetings, I, I think is, um, is different. Um, we in Creve Core pretty much follow St. Louis County pandemic guidelines. And so um, we, um, 
we abide by those rules and regulations. Although when St. Louis County shut down their parks, uh, we didn't shut down our parks. We did shut down the playgrounds, but we left the parks open. And we found that um, we've had a lot of activity uh, and the community really enjoys um, our, outdoor, our outdoor spaces. We have a number of parks uh, that are highly utilized in a, a municipal nine hole golf course um, that has seen record grounds this year. Um, and so um, the, the hardest part has, has been losing the dynamics of meeting in person. Um, but um, our, our employees and our staff, and the city council has remained flexible and um, we've been able to conduct business, I'd like to think pretty much um, as usual. And Mayor Glantz, we would like to thank you so much for hosting Earth Day contests for kids and youth in the city. And Mayor Glantz, you also prioritize education and schools. What is one of your most memorable moments of your interaction with teens and youth? Well, what, what, um, what I've been a, a strong advocate for, for is that our communities, our municipalities, uh, I think are, are uniquely tied in and only as successful as the school districts, the schools, the educational opportunities uh, with, within the communities. Um, we're, we're very fortunate to be served by the Ladue and Parkway school districts, public school districts. We have a number of private uh, schools in Creep 4 um, and, and we have educational opportunities um, from early childhood through post uh, graduate education. Uh, I think um, I, I think good communities thrive on, on three basic premises, um, the people, the businesses, and in education. Um, and I, I, I think it's important that local government work cooperatively with all, all of those uh, institutions. And Mayor Glantz, how do you think that more policymakers, leaders, and members of Congress can be more interactive with the teens in their community and build rich and meaningful partnerships? Well, um, one of the issues that we have um, in national government as opposed to municipal government, I, I'm a strong believer that government is best when it's closest to the people it serves. Um, Creve Corps is a community of 18,000 people. Um, believe it or not, we can we can serve each of those individuals um, very very well. Um, in in the in the city of Creve Corps, I'm a phone call or an email away. Um, I'd love to think that that larger forms of government um, could remember that um, government service, uh, community services begin at the local level and um, try not to lose that personal touch. Um, I, I think that's the downside when you start to, um, when government starts to get too big. And several cities across our country and in Missouri have a youth council or a youth advisory council that gives youth a voice in their city government yep. and educates youth on how the branches of city government work to improve their community. And with more and more teens now interested in politics, policy, and community service, it would be great to open such opportunities. And Mayor Glantz, we request that you consider giving this opportunity to the youth in Creve Corps. We, uh, I, I would love that. Um, as a matter of fact, we started to work on an outline of having a Mayor's Youth Advisory Council. Um, some neighboring communities uh, around Creve Corps have done so. Uh, I think it would be a great idea. We reached out uh, to both Ladue and to Parkway and to some of the private schools in, in the community. And we have an outline of that. Um, one of the things that needs to happen in all, in all fairness is um, government or local government can structure that, can outline that. Uh, but we need the youth in the community to take charge and, own, and, and take ownership of that um, and get us across the finish line on that. We certainly have the outline. I'd love to see that uh, come to fruition. And I think that would definitely be a wonderful experience to the many youth inside Creve Corps who are interested in this field. 
And Mayor Glantz, in your opinion, what is the post-pandemic outlook for the future, particularly for teens, be it in terms of education, jobs, or the economy, and how can we be more prepared? Well, I think, I think in the near term, um, flexibility is, is still um, key to, uh, to successful outcomes. Um, I, um, you know, we've tried to get in-person meetings um, back and, and we don't feel that it is, um, um, I, I, don't, I don't feel that it's, it's being responsible, being a responsible leader to bring people together uh, right now. So we're gonna continue um, to interact virtually like we are today. Um, I think the schools are, are struggling with the same thing uh, as, as far as educating the youth. Um, so I, I, but that will change and that will evolve. I think we've learned a lot in the uh, six or eight months since this pandemic started. Uh, I think we do things better today than we did in March and April. Uh, I'm hoping that we'll do things better in January and February than we are now. Um, so I think that flexibility remains the, uh, the key to success. Mayor Glantz, thank you so much for investing your time and resources in our teens and the value they bring to our country and our future. And thank you so much for your time today and answering all of our questions. It's my pleasure. Thanks so much for having me.